Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is another promo Friday. We are one week in with Path to Glory and Festival of Football, and we are kind of left hanging. What's going to happen today on Friday, the second week of Festival of Football, and are we going to have a Path to Glory Team 2? Are we going to have Man of the Match items? What is going to go on in the game today? No loading screen, no hints from EA, nothing added to the code. We're not sure what's going to happen today. So I kind of like that in a sense. I haven't even heard any leaks. So that's really dope in a sense that we have nothing kind of to expect today. I do expect something though. There's one thing that I expect today and that is probably going to be cards in packs because again, if they're really hyping up this promo of Festival of Football with the national teams playing with these events going on in the Euros, the Copa America, I really hope that we get more cards today. I think the leading suspicion of what we'll have today would be Path to Glory team number two cards. And of course, that is because, as you see here on the little sidebar, it says team one now added to the pool of player items. And everything that EA has been releasing is said team one, team one. And most times when they say team one, that means there's a team two coming after it. So of course, we could see some big time players today in packs if they were going to do something along the lines of Path to Glory team number two. We're looking at potentially guys like a Joao Felix, um, you know, somebody who a lot of people want to see get an upgraded card, whether it's an SBC or a live item on the market, maybe a Richarlison, uh, maybe a Conte card, right? I know Conte just had the man of the match, but of course, Conte would be a great card that they could drop with the French nationality with potential upgrades coming for that. Uh, you know, plenty of other options, maybe a Raheem Sterling, right? Another player from the English national team would be highly touted and highly accepted, I think, as well. And again, before you start to ask the question, uh, well, if those cards are going to be released now, would they not get all the upgrades because they're, you know, starting after a couple games have been played? Well, here's the thing, right? Tracking for all Festival Football Path to Glory player items starts on June 11th and ends July 16th. So no matter when they're released along the line, uh, they will all, the upgrades will all start with the games and the tracking on that June 11th day. So let's say right now, France have one win. Um, so if they were to release another French PTG card, that card would come live with basically one win on its track record. Or, you know, another Italian card would come out, two wins on the track record. Brazil, two wins. Just tonight, they they won 4-0 over Peru. That means that Vinicius Jr. is one win away from getting upgraded. Any Brazilian card that comes out today on the game would be, if it's a path to glory, two wins out of three towards that first upgrade. So that's kind of interesting. And again, the first upgrades that we are going to see uh, logistically can only happen on the 25th of June, right? Because again, the following Friday is when those upgrades will happen. So match day three coming up over the weekend into the early week next week is going to be the first opportunity for cards. We can see get that three win threshold. They won't upgrade until Friday. So there's one thing to kind of talk about there. But again, we're, we're really looking at, I think the top thing that could happen today would be PTG2 cards and packs. Now, again, the interesting thing to talk about this is we have match day three that is ending kind of in like the middle of the week next week, I believe. Um, if I actually go ahead and look at the Euro website here for a second and take a look at the fixtures, we have match day three, which is ending on Wednesday, June 23rd. So technically, if a team would go 3-0 in the group stages, right? Like Belgium is on two wins right now. Um, you know, some of these, like if England were to win today on Friday, they'd be on two wins. They could get their third. Uh, you know, France could potentially have their third win, depending on how things fall, of course. We might have cards getting all three of their upgrades by that Wednesday, the 23rd. Now, there's a couple of things you could think about here. If they were to put a second team into packs for a whole week, those cards would go out of packs basically when they were about to get upgraded, but the upgrades would already be locked in. I find that pretty interesting. Usually EA, uh, like they did with the Florenzi SBC, they took him away and off of the game um, before they got their second game. Before Italy had their second game, they took him off, right? So that you could not do the SBC after that second win was quote unquote guaranteed or quote unquote locked in. So that's the only thing I'm unsure about whether they put the team in packs for them, you know, through the weekend or just through the entire week. That's one thing I'd be interested in. Now, also, um, one reason why I think 100% we're getting some sort of new promo team, promo cards that are in packs today is because all of these SBCs are expiring. Now, this to me just, again, shows that we're going to have more SBCs next week, unless EA is going to be just like during team of the season where they had a lot of hype content and then they really dropped it off. I mean, remember, right? We've had one week of really hype content. Ultimate Tots, League One, pretty quiet. 
We've now had one really good week of festival football content with Path to Glory, these nation SBCs. I think it has to continue again for at least one more week, kind of like we had Bundesliga and La Liga Tots really good back to back. So with a lot of these SBCs expiring, I expect a new SBC player today. Well, if they do a Path to Glory Team 2, I would expect another PTG card here in the SBC section. Potentially another nation player as well, because we only have the Sweden and the Uruguay nation players at this time. Basically, the Sweden nation players SBC and that Path to Glory Team 1 guaranteed SBC that dropped yesterday are like the only SBCs that are going to be staying out past today, I believe. Um, maybe, I don't know about the 82 times 8 and the 83 times 10. I think those are going away as well. But um, not a lot of SBCs today, which also makes me think that SBC fodder is going to drop off. So again, SBC content today, maybe a nation player or a set of nation players, another PTG card. The only thing that would change that, in my opinion, is if they did man of the matches, right? If they were to release man of the matches today, A, I mean, I don't know how that likely this is uh, because we don't have a card design unless they're going to use the man of the match card design, which would be a bit of a buzzkill. But we could see a Cristiano Ronaldo man of the match day, right? If they're doing team of the match day from day one, I think this is what we're looking back to in FIFA 18 and we're wanting to see, right? We're wanting to see man of the match cards from players that did well in match day one, just fill up a team and, and you'll put them out, right? Hopefully they can have some sort of dynamic image. Hopefully they will be higher rated stats than team of the seasons for some cards, maybe not Ronaldo, um, but you know, right? We're really looking forward to these man and match items. So again, what car design is that going to be? We have this car design that was shown on the PlayStation store. And as of course, right now, we have not had a legit code added for this beautiful car design. Now, again, maybe when the cards get their third win and they start getting upgrades, they're going to ch change from the path to glory green item into this. I don't know. We have no idea. Hopefully we get some more clarification from EA Sports on that. Or maybe this is the man of the match card design. Really, we have no idea. But I think man of the matches could be coming today as well. I think a lot of people are hoping for that because that adds another card, more cards to the game, more stuff to be released. And that will be very, very hype in my opinion. So that's an, that's like the secondary thing. If it's not a path to glory team two today, which I think is the favorite of, of things to happen, man of the matches could be coming out as well. Now that of course could affect a lot of cards on the market that have team of the seasons or whatever. You might see some of those drop if there are new items coming out today for those players of the exact same rating. So I've got a couple of Thursday flips here, you know, just kind of flips that I'm working on on the market. Now I also made a little bit of an investment. You see me here with two Phil Foden's, of course, England played their second game today. I got these at pretty low prices, 9.30 and 9.15. I thought that was really low. It's the lowest he's been all week. He's going out of packs, and, and this guy's in very high demand, right? Because, of course, it's coming home, right? It's coming home. And if you look at a million coins for this Phil Foden, there's not very many cards. I'm already in the money, right? 980K for his lowest buy now. He got low today with rewards and marquee matchup supply. So, you know, with the potential upgrade for this card, I'm going to be holding on to this Phil Foden and hope, hoping that England get their second win today and that he rises up a little bit more. Now, let's talk about market-wise today, right? Um, SBC fodder is going down, right? We, we mentioned that just a little bit ago, and I think that's because the SBC yesterday for the guaranteed TOTS, or sorry, the guaranteed PTG was 87 rated, and there was a lot of people that had less to, leftover SBC fodder investments that they had held on to. And since that SBC was an 87 rated squad, a lot of the lower tier stuff went down, right? Your 84s took a nice nosedive. And again, I think a lot of people right now, what you're seeing is people are selling this stuff headed into today on Friday because they're expecting the pack supply. They're expecting lightning rounds with a new team in packs. And you know, a lot of those SBCs, a lot of that demand is going away. So they're expecting a drop on those sorts of cards. Same thing with the 85. But if you take a look at the 86s, they haven't dropped off as much. They've kind of held steady uh, with a spike around the content drop because, again, that was an 87 rated squad today. So some of the higher tier fodder did well. 87s were up at like 27, 28K, I believe. 88s were, were up a decent amount too. So, you know, a lot of this fodder is probably going to get supplied again today, and I do expect it to drop back down. Again, it's been the same. It's been the same fluctuation for the past three weeks now, where we've had 84s on the weekend go down to like 4,000 coins. They spike up to 7K during the week, go back down to 4K, spike up to 7K. Right? They're on their way back down to, to the low fives and into the fours. In my opinion, this week on some of these cards. So again, watch out for those same fodder fluctuations 
on the market today. Unless it's a huge, huge SBC that drops today, I don't expect to see too much of the market really going up uh, in terms of SBC fodder. I think that supply is, is most likely just going to bring it down. Even though, now one thing I wanna say too is it's not gonna be a super hype day today in terms of lightning rounds selling out. Yes, there could be some big names in packs, but I mean, you look at the big cars that we have in packs right now with the Path to Glories like Foden, like Griezmann, like Havertz, uh, Vinicius Jr. We didn't even sell out the lightning rounds last week. It's just that late into the game that not as many people are interested in putting money into this game, which I totally understand. Uh, at you know 100%, uh, I, I don't really expect a huge market rise. Like if there is going to be some panic selling today, I could see that potentially, but I really don't expect a huge market rise late tonight on the Friday night. Because again, I think also with weekend league rewards this week, people are maybe less motivated to play the weekend league because the weekend league rewards this week, yes, there are tots cards that were in packs, but I don't think very many people were impressed. I think the rewards this week for most people were just okay. It really doesn't make people want to go out and play weekend league again if they don't have to. It's not a huge, huge desire for some people to play that weekend league with the um, e-figs rewards, if you will. So yes, there's of course some people that are playing out there for the elite packs, for the tradable value. You still get some decent weekend league rewards, but I think some of that desire after ultimate tots is definitely dropping off. I don't expect a huge market rise today. Again, I remember specifically last week, this 90 baby Ronaldo out of packs icon card um, you know, I, I bought him at 1.2 million coins, which is an insane undercut last week. And he really only rebounded up like 30, 40,000 coins from his, he was about 1.3. So I got a hundred K undercut. I was expecting him to go back to 1.4. And I think I sold mine at like 1.34. So he didn't really go up that high. Uh, and that's how the market was last week. Um, now this week, I kind of expect more of the same, just watch out for some panic selling. And honestly, with these path to glory cards from team one, if the content is not hype today, I think you'll see these guys rise out of packs. I know it seems crazy, um, depending on the cards, of course, but you know some of these cards that are on two wins, people are gonna be looking for those upgrades really soon, like Verratti is on two wins. Now, Davinson and Columbia tonight actually drew nil-nil, so uh, that is not good for, I guess, the price of this card, but it could mean uh, this card stays at a lower price until they get those wins, if they do continue to progress in Copa America. And he could go up. So, you know, just kind of looking at this team right here, I think there are some cards that will rise up. Belgium is on two wins. The Storgan Hazard is down, uh, of course, but he's, he's one win away from that upgrade. So Belgium, if one more win, boom, this is guys going to a 92. That's going to be some hype. And a lot of these cards are going to reach their highest price probably during that third game. When they get that third win, whenever that time is, uh, people are going to buy them up when they expect that upgrade to come. And from there on out, it's probably just going to be a slow drop off in price, especially a drop off when the upgrade happens most likely, because at this stage of the game, I feel like there's more hype from people that are wanting to trade with these cards uh, than actually use them. So that's just kind of one thing to keep in mind, in my opinion, is that these cards are very hype based. Again, think about how we saw the movements with the, um, with the what if cards earlier on this year. It looks like that 210 hazard was an undercut. He's about 220, which even after the win today, this is the lowest that he's been. So, you know, maybe watch out for some panic selling on these current PTG cards. If we have an insane team that is in packs today, that could be something that we see. People maybe swap out some of the old cards for the new ones that come in this week. That might be something to watch out for. Also, big thing coming today is the brand new season. Season seven, which I hope Maybe this will, maybe this won't take us home till the end of FIFA 21. Uh, of course, season six, as you can see up here behind uh, my face cam is ending in a few hours. Last chance for the icon swaps, last chance to get level 30. But we will be seeing new level 15 and level 30 players today in this game. I don't know if EA is going to do anything special with this stuff. I wouldn't really expect it to be anything special. But also last call for some of your uh, objectives as well. And especially those icon swaps. Now, you guys might be wondering, will we get more icon swap tokens today? I don't think so. I feel like we'll get more icon swap tokens on Monday, right? Now, of course, we've had the first nine tokens available for these few weeks. We're going to have nine more tokens available after this uh, for however long this next season lasts. So um, in my opinion, I don't know if it'll take us all the way till the end of FIFA 21, uh, but it should be another pretty long season and nine more icon swap tokens that if any of you guys are chasing after the high tier icon moments player pick packs 92 plus moments 92 plus attacker 93 plus moments player pick 
or even Vieira's Prime card. Uh, a lot of this stuff, you're going to see it popping up in the next week or so as people finish up these swaps. So if you'd like to invest or mess around with any of the uh, requirements for the Icon Swap tokens, of course, something to kind of get involved with there. But I really wouldn't expect that until Monday. The, the last couple times I've been releasing swaps, they've been doing it on Mondays, even though the season technically ends on the Friday. They want you to be focused on those new cards that are in packs. They want you to be focused on that stuff today, spending FIFA points. You guys know it's a normal promo Friday. So also with that resetting, I would expect another objective player. Of course, we had the Ericsson objective, which I have completed. He is now in the club. And the next weekend league, I will be playing with Christian Ericsson in the team because I'm actually really, really excited for that. But um, that I would expect to see another objective card in that section today. And other than that, man, it's just really kind of like we're sitting here with no clues, right? No loading screen. They haven't put anything out on their Instagram because that's been one area they've been putting stuff out recently. So maybe we'll get some clues into the morning today on Friday. Of course, check on my Twitter. That link is down below in the description. If we learn anything, I'll be tweeting it out there and I'll be live streaming here. Uh, not here, but on Twitch. That link is down below as well. We'll be live streaming, right? We'll be live streaming the content, making some market moves and maybe doing some last second 81 plus player picks. So if there is a new team that is out in packs today and you want to try to pack any of those cards, one little bit of a gamble you could do today would be do some 81 plus player picks. And now right now, the store is not loading for me for whatever reason. But 81 plus player picks would be something, yo, EA, load your game. Anyways, uh, those would be something that you would be able to do today. I think I might have just been disconnected from the servers or something. I don't know. Uh, but gold rares, I believe, are still right around like 1,000 coins or 1,100. Uh, so that would be an opportunity to get involved with stuff with the new content that is today. And I think there's some issues with the EA servers right now or I'm not connected or something because I can't move around in the game or search the market. So that's kind of the video for today, boys, to be completely honest. I think we covered everything from fodder to the new cards that are in packs and um, yeah, just kind of what is going on today on Friday. A lot of question marks right now. So I hope we see that new car design. I think that'd be really sick. And if EA would drop that, and hopefully a nice SBC player today. Again, a Joao Felix. We didn't have a Portugal player in packs last week with the, with the FOF. Uh, we, you know, we had a very high tier French player. Maybe this week we have a little bit of a lower tier one. I know we talked about Conte, but maybe somebody like Tolisso and stuff like that. That'd be pretty dope. Um, and yeah, we had two German players, so maybe they maybe they don't do a German player this week. Who knows? Um, but yeah, last, last chance for to pack these guys with the player picks. And if you want to stack any player picks for the new team coming today, that might be a shout as well. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Vote Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>